The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the August 7th, the magnificent Monday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. Dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question but you can't dial in, you can always send me an email. Send that one to steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on a magnificent, marvelous Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, you got a little bit of a mix back. That mix is coming from the Russell 2000 off about three and a half points straight out at 1090, 10, uh, 1953. Otherwise, oh, I take that back. NASDAQ Composite just went negative. That's down 18 points. NASDAQ 100 is up to seven points, so we're flat. There are 19 points for the S&P, 307 for the Dow. Gold is off seven bucks with silver being down 47 pennies. That's three tenths and two, ten and two percent to the downside. Natural gas is up 13 pennies, trading at 271. 30 year treasury down 14 ticks, a half a point, trading out at 121.18. Lead the charge, dollar wise, the upside. We have booking holding, $60 move there at 2%. Verative Corp up 20%, $28 move. United Rental, 17 bucks, three and nearly 4% there. Humana, 12 bucks, almost 3%. Lamb Research, nearly 2%, $11.50. Change the shakers, sagey one, sage therapeutics off 18 bucks, 51 percent. That is a stinker. Crystal biotech, 14 bucks, 11 percent. MicroStrategy down 12 bucks or 3 percent. Biontech off 10 percent or 10 bucks. Atlas Corp down about 10 bucks. That's nearly a 5 percent move to the uh, downside. So, where do we want to begin? Let's begin with um, really kind of where we sort of do, and that is let's take a look at where we're at with regard to market breadth. Let's look at the five different market breadth. Uh, levels that we can look at. The first is going to be the 30 minute. This is for the S&P 500. At the moment, 176 instruments are trading above profile, 104 below profile. That's bullish uh, market breadth for the S&P 500 for its 30 minute time frame. We'll take a look at the NASDAQ 100, the NQ here. Uh, we're looking up at the upper left hand side. You've got 21 above and 41 below. I just want to refresh the chart for the S&P 500 just long enough here. So you got negative market breadth on the NQ, just confirming on the S&P 500 for its 30 minute time frame as well. Nope, that is still set to a, a bullish uh, crossover. Uh, let's take, I, I, I'm going to put them up on the charts, uh, on the screen here for you, but I know that the uh, 6240 and daily, they are bearish for the uh, NASDAQ 100 and the S&P 500. So those are your upper right-hand corner. You're looking. Those are the speed dials. We're in there in the red zone. That is a bearish crossover. We take a look at the NASDAQ 100. Well, I take it back. Boy, is this odd or what? So we're going to have really choppy market out here. The 60-minute NQ is uh, bullish market breadth. And the 30 minute is bearish. We've got 33 above and 25 below as we speak right now. So, boy, do we have choppy conditions. And we just need to keep that into consideration or in any rallies as well as any moves to the downside. So, now that we know that, what else we want to know? Let's uh, take a look at this chart here. Let's stay in this uh, in this panel. So if we take a look at the, uh, my back, as you may recall, if not, I'm going to simply update you now. The black background charts, E-Signal, 
which I have that same data right now flowing through to my white background charts, is generating two different profile levels for the ES Mini. Now, that might confuse people and say, oh, no. We use that same, you know, that same data in different calculations. We use them both. But right now, what we're taking a look at is the black background ones. Because in the re if we take a look at Friday's action, we saw it close below the bottom of that profile. The bottom of that profile is 4507. Now, you know Stevie's rule out there. It's a two-day rule. It's not a one-day rule. One-day rules are just one-hit wonders. And it's an anomaly. It doesn't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. And to get that swing, you need to see it close below 4507 today. If you get that inside the ES Mini, then according to the black background chart calculations, you would have a change in trend. Right now, what Price is trying to do is get back inside his profile. It is running into resistance at the center of that profile. The center is where both buyers and sellers believe there is fair value. The bottom of the profile where buyers are located. This should be an area that if there is some strength, they should be able to get a close above 45.24. Why is that important? Because when you close above the center of a bullish structured profile, odds favor that the buyers are going to be able, the bulls are going to be able to push price up to resistance, which in the case of the ES Mini is up at the top of its profile at 4609. That level is agreed upon by both sets of charts out there. And you'll see that when we flip back and forth into the white background charts, as well as uh, 4621.75, which is its Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. That was that bearish engulfing candle. So that's what we have going on there. With regard to the ES Mini, uh, really the primary key level that I'd be watching and observing today to the upside is 4524. And to the down Downside is 45.07. The NQ is trading below the bottom of its daily profile, trading below the center of its weekly profile, and that opens up a door to get down to support. The next level of support is at 14.865, the bottom of that weekly profile. If we look at the Dow Equity Future contract, it has an A to B equals CD pattern, a sell the D point top. Price also closed below the bottom of its profile on uh, Friday. Here, with regard to the Dow, I believe we've got the same profile levels. I'm just going to take a quick peek. But yeah, I've got the exact same profile levels there. So nothing odd. Now, you can see uh, t three sets of green, new green lines that are forming this week or attempting to form this week. Remember, I'm using my advanced Doppler tool here, although it does seem pretty solid. Now, that's formed below price. That's a bullish signal from an intermediate term time frame. It says all the supplies to the downside. We're above supply. So, but we still are dealing with that daily profile level there. Now, on a further move lower, if price is to move lower, where the Dow should expect to find some support would be between 34.619 and 34.823. And the reason is because price is above that new profile level. With regard to the Russell 2000, the equity future contract does not have a top. It has an A to B equals CD pattern of the upside that has not been fulfilled. Now, there's a possibility. It depends on how aggressive you want to be or how much room you want to give it. What I see here is on a trading session of August 1st, both the high and low of the prior bar was exceeded. Now, that is a key reversal bar. And a key reversal bar can be used to identify both a top or a bottom. The problem is, or the problem Stevie has, the high of that a day is 2017.80, call it 2018. Is 2018 close enough to 2030 to say we have a completed sell the D point pattern? You know what? I don't know the answer to that question. My inclination is no. Do we have to answer that question? You threw that out there, Steve. Well, I think you have to answer that question. Well, how I would answer that question is the cash indice does have a top, and it has a wave number seven top out there. So I'd say with regard to the Russell 2000, it also has a top. So you've got a top, not in the future contract, but at least in the cash indice. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We get back, we're going to take a look at Microsoft for Nancy, Tesla for John C. Coda wants to take a look at, um, looks like natural, no, uh, natural gas, yeah. Treasury bonds. Yeah, we'll take a look at all those things as soon as we get back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. Investors. Call, call now. Toll free at 1 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's go out to uh, Dave in Framingham. Dave, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Fine. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks so much for asking. Uh, the GDX is, I believe, what you're calling about. Dave, how can I yes. best help you? Can you tell me an entry point, or is it near a low as it is? All um, right. So let's get the – yeah. Uh, excellent question. Um, has the GDX generated a an entry point yet? So that's the question. And it's yes. a possibility. So the reason why it's a possibility – and I'd like you to wait till tomorrow, though. I think okay. – Okay. And here's what here's what I'm looking at. So what we did today so far is we pierced the low of August 3rd, two days ago. That low was 2907. Today's low so far has been 2906. That one penny, what it is going to do, it's going to generate bar number eight, or it should generate bar number eight of a TD nine count. Now, 90% of the time, when bar number eight is a successful element of the pattern, which in this case it is, it goes on to complete that pattern. However, in this case here, what the GDX would, and the reason why I want you to wait till tomorrow, at least with regard to this pattern, is that in order for the GDX to fulfill a TD9 count, that means tomorrow the GDX must close below 29.28. So you've got bar number two, and we're trading at 29.22. It's just too close in price for me to say that, yeah, this is definitely going to turn into a TD9 count. So I, I don't know. The other pattern that you would be looking for would be a bullish reversal candle. If we were to get that, Dave, then we would have at least a pattern completion as prices targeting on June 29th or 26th uh, was the 29th swing point that is trading uh, within right now. On a weekly time frame, while the daily may be forming this uh, bullish, either a buy the D point pattern or a TD9 count bottom, price is testing support. And that support level uh, was tested last week and held. It's been, it was tested this morning. It's down at the 2912 level. So I think at this stage here, Dave, we should really revisit this tomorrow. Really, qu quite frankly, Wednesday, 
would would be the better day. Uh, but okay. for you and your purposes, tomorrow's action is going to be most important. That's why if we if we revisit at eleven twenty, maybe if, maybe we'll have some information. I mean, if like there's a big rally going on, it doesn't look like it's going to pull back or something along those lines. But really, tomorrow needs to see a close blow twenty nine twenty eight. Does that make sense to you? Yes, yeah, sounds right to you. Perfect. Yes, I'm going along with you. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So there's our answer. And we really need tomorrow's okay. end of day close to be able to determine whether or not there's at least a valid bottoming pattern for me to then say, yeah, go ahead and fire away. Okay. I appreciate that very much. Okay. We'll watch it. Perfect. Hey, Dave, thanks Thank so much you. for calling. Always great to hear from you. We'll look forward to speaking to you again. Thank you. That was, you bet. That was Dave in uh, Framingham. Uh, let's go to um, Nancy wanted to take a look at natural, uh, not natural gas, uh, Microsoft out here. Don't worry, Steve, he will get it all. He'll get his, you know, what put together. Now, in the case of Microsoft, Nancy says it hit and held low of the day from this morning. Yeah, that, that's true. What's more important, though, about Microsoft, Nancy, is the uh, trade as the bar from two days ago. Because what Microsoft did on a daily time frame was it confirmed a TD9 count bottom. Dave and I were just talking about potential TD9 count patterns out here. Uh, this was the bar following bar number nine out there. So Microsoft has a valid bottom. The level to be watching that's most important for Microsoft is going to be that low. That low is 325.95. But Microsoft closes below that, what we could be looking at is move back to 307.59. And 307.59 is the TD9 count breakout level for Microsoft on its weekly time frame. So we have a bottom, a valid bottoming pattern inside of Microsoft. We also have price trading with inside a, a new daily profile. This is a profile that formed on Friday out there. The profile, oh, wait a minute here. Is that weird? Um, no, I take that back. We did we did get a new profile. Okay. And the bottom of which, so it's trading below the bottom of that profile, 331. That's why I had to kind of adjust my eyes. So the bottom of that profile is 331.57. The center's at 333.44, which price tested and rejected on Friday. So we're trading between a resistance level and we have support, which is the bottom of that TD9 count bottom. And then we've got the weekly. So with regard, and, and so right now, what's really effectively happened here. Um, we've got the we've got a confirmed Rogement indicator top on the daily and the weekly, and the dailies turned into a bottom pattern while the weekly is testing support. That's at 326.93. So that's a real important level here to uh, watch. So what should take place? What should take place from here is price should try to make a move higher, but it needs to. It's got blocking and tackling at 331.57, 333.44. If you get above 333.44, Nancy, then you're looking to move up to its oscillator and change line at 337. So you're going to take this one step at a time out there. You're holding support in the weekly. You've got a valid bottom pattern on the daily and if those things fail then that tells us that microsoft is set to 307.59 so i hope that that helps out with regard to the msft analysis and thanks so much for taking the time to write in and have a magical monday let's go take a look at our second request out here this is from john c in the tagger's den he wants to take a look at tesla and is interested in the a to b equals cd patterns uh, so what we're going to do is we'll switch back to tesla so we can look at the black background charts out there i've got a better tool for that but before we did that here what i wanted to share with you john is you have a weekly td9 count top that has now taken price back to support and that first level of support is its green oscillator and change line so this is an area to watch now at the moment uh, on a weekly basis, the green oscillator and change line is printing out at 245.39. Below that, at 243.20, is the center of its bullish structured profile. So Tesla has strong support, we can say, between 231. 93, the bottom of the profile, and the green oscillator and change line that it's printing out right now, which is 245.37. So Tesla has pulled back into a strong support level. That's important to understand on the weekly base because when we get over to the daily time frame, we could kind of get lost in what looks like a stock chart that wants to head lower using that A to B equals CD pattern. And the purpose of that is just simply to understand where we're at on a weekly basis. So I hope that that helps you out and doesn't confuse you. Now let's go take a look. And those levels need to be need to get busted through before any A to B equals CD that you and I are going to go take a look at is uh, going to come to any kind of fruition out there. So that was really the purpose of that whole thing. Now, we also have an A to B equals CD inside of Tesla that has passed the B point with lighter volume. So the A point out here, unquestionably July 19th high. The B point makes a move all the way down to the A and forms a low on July 24th. We get a one-day rally 
that forms that C point. That was a 40% retracement. It was above that point 3.82. That really uh, formalizes an A to B equals CD to the downside. Now, what we know is that when you only do a point 3.82 retracement, odds favor you do more than a one to one A to B equals CD. However, in this case here, price has been sliding, has been moving sideways. So that 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 call out there, uh, the, the target, the initial price target, 227.73. Remember, 231.93 is where we have that uh, weekly profile support as well. So the volume on that swing, that's again the trading day out here of uh, July 24th, 137 million shares. Now, you are at 53 million shares right now. If we just multiply that times three, we're two hours into the trading session, we would have volume that exceeds that swing point. So let's just say for our purposes right now, you do have a confirmed or you should at day's end have a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside. Again, with that first price projection target 227 and a 231, you've got the bottom of that weekly profile. So what do you have to do and pay attention to? I think you're short, uh, uh, Tesla. You've got to see that uh, start getting below that uh, weekly center profile line of 243.20. Hope that helps you out, John. Thanks much for the request. We're going to go take a look at natural gas for Coda, bonds for Coda, and Apple for Mike over in Europe. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV.
Welcome back, folks. You got the Dow up 308, S&P 21, uh, NASDAQ uh, 100 is up five points, Russell's off three, semis up 13 points. We're taking a look at natural gas charts here for Coda inside the Tiger's Den. So, Coda, there's really two things, three things that we know. We could almost nail it down to one thing, which is price is consolidating with inside profiles. And that's with regard to the monthly, the weekly, and the daily time frame out there. So uh, be prepared for some um, frustration as this thing continues to move sideways. Now, you've got a valid bottom on the monthly. That's a beautiful thing. You've got a valid bottom on the weekly. Another beautiful thing. We've got nothing on the daily time frame. What we do have on the daily time frame is consolidation within his profile. Your question was, you'd like to add more. Where's the place to add? Certainly not as we get up towards resistance. I think you'd agree with me on that. And we know that resistance, which has been tested many times, when I say many times, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven times, eight times. It's been tested eight times and it has failed only once. So $2.75, that is your key level uh, to uh, be paying attention to. If price can close above that, then the daily time frame, even though it wouldn't have a bottoming pattern, the pattern would be price closing above the top of its profile, and that in itself can be enough to suggest that a rally is ready to uh, further itself. Now, you want to add more. Well, you're gonna get a gift potential gift here. The first gift is if we look at the 30 minute time frame chart, it just completed one minute ago, a TD nine count top. Now what should take place here, Coda, is price should now move back to target a saucer and change line. That's a $2 and 68 cents. But you also want to watch today's high. Today's high in natural gas is, look at the September contract, 2727, 2.727. If price is able to close above that, that will suggest you have a strong rally for that time frame underway and wants to move higher. However, not so fast. And the reason we have to say not so fast is 28 minutes from now, you're going to get a confirmed TD9 count top on the 60 minute time frame. Now, its chart will not complete until 1 p.m. But that doesn't mean that price can't start pulling back. So it looks like we've got a short-term top inside of natural gas that really began at 1130. We also have a TD9 count top that's going to confirm on the two-hour time frame. This pattern here, this candle, I should say, completes at 12 p.m. as well. So you're going to have a TD9 count top on the two-hour chart, on the 60-minute chart, already one that's completed on the 30-minute time frame. This is suggesting we pull back. So that's what the suggestion is. That's what should take place. But if price closes above on a 30-minute basis... The high of the day, you're still not out of jail free because of the two hour and the uh, one hour time frame charts there. But what this is telling me is you should be patient. And if you want to add, let's add when price gets back to those support levels. The question here is that support at 268, if price pulls back on the 30 minute time frame, is that going to hold? I don't know. But that's one level, 266 on the 60 minute. 263 on the 120 minute charts out there. So really then it starts getting down to looking at some more intraday patterns, some more intraday patterns out there. Uh, maybe 10 minute, 15 minute, 30 minute, we'll be watching those. But it does look like you've got a short term top. We're consolidating daily, weekly and monthly. So where's the best place to add? At the bottom of consolidation. And you and I are not even talking about that as we speak right now. So watch these short term patterns that are gonna unfold and now is not the time to add, uh, both because of those and being so close to that daily resistance zone. So I hope that helps you out with regard to what natural gas is doing. Let's go take a look at those uh, treasury bond charts out there, both of which formed bottoms on Friday out here. So let me close these charts out. We'll get back to those. That's not what's gonna pop up on our screen, unfortunately, but. We'll get there momentarily. I thought I opened them. Oh, I did. Okay. So let's take a look at the 30-year. On the 30-year, as you know, we've got an A to B equals CD to the downside pattern. You can sort of see that. Hey, I'll just expand out the chart. We'll see that. On the daily time frame, oh, now, I didn't need to, now that I expanded it, now I need to really pull it back. There's your A to B equals CD pattern. Now, A to B equals CD patterns. The best thing to do is to confirm those with a bullish reversal candle. These are A to B equals CD to the downside patterns. And that's what unfolded on Friday. Now, it doesn't show up on my screen as a bullish reversal candle. That's because it's a key reversal bar. And my system's not set up to show those. You have to know about those. Well, to know about those, you need to have three conditions. Number one condition, price must be in an extended condition. Well, an A to B equals CD pattern qualifies at the completion of the pattern, qualifies as being in an extended condition. Number two. You've got to exceed the prior bars high and low. Well, that took place. Number three, for a 
key reversal bottom bar, you have to close one tick up from the open. Well, we did more than that on Friday. Now, what price didn't do on Friday, it didn't close above the prior day's high out there. So even though you got that bullish reversal candle, it failed to do perhaps the most fundamental thing to suggest that we now are in a bullish mode and price is taken out. And right now today, you haven't taken out even Friday's high out there. But what should unfold here is price should move up to at least that oscillator and change line, 122 and change out there. If it gets above that, then we'll start taking a look at profile levels where it could find resistance out here and uh, where the real resistance would be just to have this down in your pad of paper right now would be the center of its profile but the problem is and here's the problem well I guess I'll show I'll, it's more easily for me to show it to you by switching chart pattern uh, by switching screens out here is a new profile that's being formed now it's not being picked up by the ninja trader system that will take place tomorrow if in fact it forms but that doesn't mean that I don't want to give you the valid information so the good news with regard to that buy the D point pattern for those of you that somehow took a, a long position inside of the uh, 30 year treasury you now have a new bullish structured profile that is attempting to form and the support area here is between 12013 and 121.23 out there but a key level for you to watch you got that key reversal bar I would really be focused in on the bottom of that profile 12013 if we get a close below that odds would favor a further move lower which is really what the weekly and the monthly charts are communicating to us but right now the daily is saying it might have a pit stop that pit stop could take you all the way up to the 125 even Steven level out there. So I'll switch back to those white background charts. So that's new information that is able to share with you that we didn't have on those white background charts out there. A quick peek at the intraday time periods out here. They also show bottoming patterns. Roads went to indicator, bottoming signals out here. So what the 30 year is telling us is it wants to move higher. Therefore, rates would likely move lower. Let's go take a look at the 10 year note out here. Give me a moment. We'll switch over to those charts. And then the 10 year, we had the same thing. Now, when I say the same thing, I don't mean the exact same pattern formation because here what formed was a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. And so now we can see that today what price has done. Let me I'm on my other screen here. I wanted to see if there's a new profile that's attempting to form too. So sorry about the I can only do one thing at one time. That's a real problem, isn't it? No, it's because I'm present. I stay present. I try to do one thing at one time. So here, uh, no new daily profile. Okay, perfect. So you've got a confirmed Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. We can see that today, Coda price pulled back, tested, and rejected that oscillator and change line. So that's another bullish signal. So what price should go do is target the 112.02 uh, level. That is the bottom of it's actually the bottom of its uh, daily profile to convert those uh, numbers out there on an intraday basis you see roads momentum indicator bottoms a 60 minute did form a td9 count top out here pulled back and it has a new bullish structured profile. So a close above the top of that profile would be a bullish outcome. But uh, overall, with regard to the daily time frame, you've got the uh, bullish signal you were looking for to suggest that price wants to move higher with rates pulling back. We'll have to monitor this as uh, price gets up to the 112.02 level. So, Kona, I hope that that helps you out with regard to um, – with regard to you want the two year, if I take a quick peek here while we go to break, let me see if I can get those charts at least to fire up for you. If I take a look at the two year via the ETF out here real quickly, it is TUA. So let's put that up on the screen. Give me a moment here. We still got about 15 seconds, but it may take longer. So here, a TUA, you've got a TD9 count bottom. It looks like price wants to go target the 2310 level. That's the ETF. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. So let's go take a look at the uh, charts here for Apple. This is for Mike in uh, Florence or somewhere over in uh, Italy these days. And, Mike, when we take a look at the uh, stock charts out here, let's just start with the uh, monthly start from upper left to uh, lower right. Monthly time frame. Uh, this month you could get a confirmed uh, roads momentum indicator top, which would at least take price back to 168.79. If price closed below that, we'd be looking to move somewhere between a 123.13 and 149.91 level. On a weekly time frame, last week price confirmed a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. Price should now target the bottom of its bullish structured daily pro uh, bullish structured weekly profile, and that's at 175.31. If price closed below 175.31, it will make its way all the way back to its breakout level on the weekly time frame. That's at 170.42. The 123.13 was a breakout level on the monthly time frame. Well, what Apple is doing today, it's cruising through breakout level number two. And a close below 180.63 will, in fact, accomplish that task. And that suggests lower price. Now, that lower price that you and I would be looking at, uh, Mike, would be the 175.31 to 170.42 range out there. Now, you're probably going to get a pretty decent idea here during this next uh, 30 minutes. So I'm looking at a 30-minute chart here for Apple. And we look at the 30-minute chart. What we're going to notice is a TD9 count bottom that formed uh, as we came into that 1130 session. That was a bar following bar number nine. That was a low of the uh, session. So this would suggest to you and I, let me move this over to the left, that a close at 12 noon below that low, which is 178.11, will negate that signal, and that would suggest lower price. Again, on the lower price side of it, we just really kind of focus on, or I'm focused on more of the weekly support level since we're already trading with inside that bullish structured profile. But likewise, that's a bottom. If this was strong, that's an area that should have held, right? We're inside a weekly bullish structured profile area where price should find support. And we look at the 30-minute time frame. It's got that TD9 count bottom. Now, though, 65-minute, if that fails, not necessarily all is lost. Remember, 65-minute is is divisible into a 390 minute day which is what we have in the cash markets that's why we use 65 versus 60 minute charts out there so on a 65 minute basis and this candle session here is going to complete at and this is going to be bar number nine at 11 oh it already did complete 11.40, so I guess I have a little bit of a data feed here because that new bar hasn't started, so it's off by a few moments. But we do have now a confirmed TD9 count bottom. Now, it's low 
of that pattern would not be confirmed for another 65 minutes, another hour out there. Um, uh, the 130 minute time frame chart uh, has in fact uh, negated its TD9 count bottom. So Apple is really suggesting to you and I that it wants to move lower. But we have to we have to recognize these TD9 count patterns that are out there, even one on the 195 minute chart out here. So. Could be forming some type of bottom, won't really know until we see what takes place on the uh, 65, the 130. Now I take that back, 130 is already told, so it's lower price, and the 195. But it's really not looking good. <laughs> when I say it's not looking good, it's really looking like price wants to make a move into that 170.42 to 175.31 level. So, Mike, uh, uh, nice to uh, uh, see you in the Tiger's Den. Thanks much for the request out there. Hope that answered your question. If it didn't, uh, let me know what other information you you might. It, maybe there was something else inside the uh, the uh, the message inside the den. It's I, I can't locate it right now. And so, in any event, let's go take a look at the next request out here. This comes from a guppy inside the Tiger's Den. Let's take a look at I O N Q. So let's get over and take a look at uh, that chart, or, or charts, I should say. Now, uh, let me make sure I'm on the right spot here. Yeah. Uh, so on IONQ, uh, it is uh, it's having a horrible day. It confirmed a Rhodes Mintum indicator top a couple of trading sessions ago. And now what price is going to do, it's going to go test the support level of its bullish structure daily profile. And that is between the uh, range of 1475 and 1595. So price is going to go target that level out there. Now, I say it's, if, if IONQ is going to go do that, McGuppy, really hit the 1475 area, what we'll see out here, what we might see out here is a failure of its 30-minute TD9 count bottom that took place at 1130. And uh, if price does close below that low, that low is uh, $15 even, Stephen. If it closes below that low in the next uh, uh, 16 minutes, out, uh, 14 minutes out here, that's going to suggest lower price. So you are at a point where this should find a bottom, and price should bounce up to 16.32 IONQ. That's on the 30-minute time frame. Uh, if that does not unfold, 14.75 is in the cards. 13.75 might also be in the cards. That is the weekly uh, oscill green oscillator and change line out there. What else can I look at? Your question was uh, sell, buy, or hold, and you're in at 764. So you've still got some profits out here. And I don't know um, what the what the longer term, what the trading plan was when you got into this instrument. So since you've got some good profits out here, I would be waiting for – this is up to you. But I would be waiting for price to bust through daily support at 1475 – or, or bust through the weekly, close below the weekly oscillator and change line, which is 1375. If you're asking me where would the buy areas be, they would be at the support, which is at that 1475 and 1375 level. So I'm saying, yeah, you should hold. You should at least hold now because support hasn't been uh, touched. So And, and uh, pay attention to uh, – that, pay attention to that 30-minute chart out there to help you out. So I hope that helps you out, McGuppy, with regard to uh, IONQ. That is I IONQ, Inc. That's the uh, name of the company out there. And uh, thanks much for taking the uh, time. Now, you do have volume, big volume in this today. You've got about 12 million shares already. And, uh, you know, just as an example, up at the high, this did volume of uh, 15 million shares. So it's coming down with some volume out there. But it's time to watch those support areas. So I hope that helps you out, McGuppy. Thanks so much for taking the time to write in. Much appreciated. Appreciated. ELO inside the Tiger's Den wants to take a look at one of his favorite stocks, and that is Moderna. And that's not anybody else's favorite stock. That is for sure, because this thing has been hammered. How would you like to be the person that bought that share at $497 or so when it was forming that TD9 count top on the weekly time frame right back here in December? of 2022 out there ever since then it has been on a nosedive and the question is where is this thing headed to well ELO today will be the bar following bar number nine on a daily time frame if this is going to find a bottom it's going to find it today now that bottom is the type of bottom that should end up in a rally or counter trend move that would take price up to its oscillator and change line. That is currently printed out at 11, uh, 111.58. That number is going to change, but you can use that right now as a guideline out here. Uh, if uh, So today's low is going to be an important level for you to monitor. I don't know what today's low is going to be. I can tell you, I can share with you right now that today's low appears to be about 98.43, but you really got to come back and take a look at that. Um, to uh, to to assist you uh, with uh, with Moderna. Now, it the, the thirty minute when a daily time frame. Don't worry, folks. I'll spit it out. 
when a daily time frame is generated a bottom signal, you like to see bottom patterns form on the intraday charts. Now, on this set of charts that I'm taking a look at here, I only have a 30-minute intraday time frame to look at. But what we can see out here, and this, this is kind of like with the last instrument we looked at, this formed a TD9 count bottom, and it did it as we came into the 11.30 session. So right now, that is working. So you should at least get a rally up to its oscillator and change line. So we'll say that Moderna, should rally up towards the 103.45 level. Does that mean it's a bottom? No, it just means that the intraday, it was at least a short-term bottom, and you should see a rally out there. If that rally does continue, its, continue itself, then you should see on the daily basis price get up into that 111.63 area. On the weekly time frame, it says curtains. On the monthly time frame, it says curtains. And those curtains, shoot, they say that price wants to get back to maybe $13.53. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be that guy up at the 497 level, that's for sure. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back up, folks. So uh, Michael P. writes in. Uh, Mike, nice to uh, hear from me. He says, hey, Steve, I've got the uh, puts on Moderna and uh, Bionitech, BNTX. That's the uh, set of charts that's up on the screen right now looking for short-term support area. 
You're looking at 6530 longer term, though, as a move to the downside. So I don't have any reason to suggest that this won't get to 6530 out here. On a daily basis, you're now below the bottom of its bullish structured uh, daily profile. No bottoming signal out there. Two consecutive close below 104.65. Again, suggest another change in trend. We've had several of those here in Biontech. You're below the weekly. A profile without any kind of uh, bottom out here, any kind of bottom signal. You're bar number seven on a monthly basis. It's open area is 28 bucks. Even Steven out here. Um, let me just open up this uh, weekly chart here for a second. Whoa, what the heck did I? Wow, that's weird. Oh, and now I just lost the chart. Okay. Um, let me try that on a different screen or different set. That was weird. Uh, BNTX. It's going to take a moment here to populate. Sorry about that. You were also looking for short term. So on the short term support, let me just go to that out there instead of pull things back. Let me try to answer your other question. So you're looking for short term support. I don't have oh, that wasn't the chart. It's this chart. So we take a look at uh, Biontech or Biontech out here. Um, you can see that it, too, is forming. It's in the process of forming a TD nine count bottom. So like Moderna out here, you've got a TD nine count bottom. This is going to complete. Yeah, it should complete here in the next four minutes. Now, it's it will, it will confirm in the next four minutes. It will complete at 1230. What should take place here is price should bounce up to its oscillator and change line. That's a pretty healthy bounce. That's up at 100.93. So on the short term, uh, Michael, just be watching that. you got to watch for this pattern to unfold over the next hour out there. Mark the low of the day, whatever that is. If you see price close below that, you know that the very short term or the 30-minute chart bottom did not, in fact, hold. But does look like this once lower price. I'm on board with you. Folks, stay tuned. Uh, we've got some great programming lined up for you. I'll be back with Tom at about uh, 3.15 or so. So please have a, a magnificent, marvelous Monday. I'll look forward to speaking to you again tomorrow, or we'll see you at around 3.15. Take care, folks.